Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today for Understanding AI Hallucinations. Topics we will cover include 1. What is an AI hallucination? 2. Causes of AI hallucinations 3. Walk through an example of an AI hallucination 4. Discuss methods of identifying an AI hallucination and finally 5. Discuss methods of preventing an AI hallucination Let's get started. What is an AI hallucination? Technically, a hallucination is when the output of the AI is not in agreement with the AI's training data. Realistically, an AI hallucination is when an AI is wrong. Hallucinations can have significant consequences, especially when it leads to a wrong decision in areas such as medical diagnosis or self-driving cars. For context, here are a few examples of an AI hallucination. In computer vision, a hallucination might occur when the model identifies an object in an image that is not actually there. For example, the AI identifies a dog in a picture that has no dog. In natural language processing or text-based models, an AI hallucination may occur when the AI incorrectly interprets a prompt. For example, a prompt that requests information on the capital of France but returns information on Berlin. The probability of an AI hallucination varies significantly, with published result for large language models, for example ChatGPT, BARD, LAMA, etc., ranging from 0.001% to as high as 29% of the time. It is important to note that published result of high percentages of AI hallucinations are usually from tests designed to make the AI hallucinate. Thus, the result from everyday use will likely be lower. My personal experience has been that hallucinations do occur frequently enough to be of note. There does not seem to be any identifiable topics or patterns that correlate with hallucinations. Each model seems to just randomly hallucinate. However, I do get a sense that the probability of an AI hallucination increases with increasing request complexity. Some of the most common issues that lead to an AI hallucination are 1. Overfitting when the AI model learns by memorizing the training data instead of generalizing based on it. 2. Model complexity. The AI model is so complex that the AI begins to imagine features or details in the data that are not actually there. 3. Data bias. The training data contains inaccuracies or is not representative of current thought. And 4. Adversarial attacks. Input data is intentionally designed to trick the model into seeing something that is not there. Studying an example in a little more detail, in this case using a large language model that hallucinates due to overfitting. Imagine someone uploads a scientific manuscript into an AI titled, The Effects of Climate Change on Polar Bear Habitats, and asks for a summary. The manuscript describes in detail how climate change is resulting in melting ice sheets which in turn is reducing the amount of area available for a polar bear to hunt. However, the AI returns a summary of the manuscript that explores the advantageous effects of climate change on polar bear habitat. It reveals that the melting ice sheets make it easier for polar bears to hunt. One plausible reason for this AI hallucination could be the model's memorization of outlier papers during training. In the training dataset, let's assume there were a few outlier papers that presented climate change as having a positive impact on certain animal species. These papers are outliers in the scientific consensus but were included in the training set for the sake of comprehensiveness. An overfit model, especially one without adequate regularization or complexity control, may memorize these outliers as part of its learning. Instead of recognizing these papers as exceptions or anomalies, the model internalizes them as if they hold equal weight to the majority view. This happens because an overfit model lacks the ability to generalize effectively, it pays too much attention to the noise and anomalies in the data, mistaking them for genuine patterns. Consequently, when tasked with summarizing a paper on the negative impacts of climate change on polar bear habitats, the model recalls these outliers. It then produces a hallucinatory summary suggesting that climate change positively impacts polar bear populations, entirely misrepresenting the paper's actual findings. Another potential reason for the AI to hallucinate could be that the model was too complex, with too many layers, making it capable of fitting exceedingly intricate patterns in the training data. Such a model could start to pick up on the nuances and specifics of the training data, 
including any aberration, and treating them as generalized truths. Again, these are just some of the possible reasons why the AI hallucinated. There are many more possibilities. Identifying a hallucination as a general user can be quite challenging, especially given the increasing complexity and capabilities of AI systems. Here are some general strategies that you might employ to detect hallucinations. With any AI output you should 1. Check against known facts. One of the most straightforward methods is to cross-verify the AI-generated content with established facts. If the AI claims something that is contrary to what is commonly accepted that's a red flag. 2. Check against a complementary system. Employ different AI models or analytical tools that perform similar tasks and compare the results. Significant deviations can indicate a potential hallucination. 3. Check for logical consistency. Is the AI output logically consistent and coherent? Hallucinations may manifest as contradictions or nonsensical statements. 4. Is it an extreme outlier? If the output suggests something extremely rare or unusual without substantial evidence, it might be a hallucination. Finally, 5. Check temporal consistency. If the AI system is generating time series data or predictions over time, inconsistencies or abrupt changes could be signs of hallucinations. If you suspect a hallucination, use any available channels to report it. AI developers will appreciate feedback that helps them improve their systems. How can you reduce the probability of a hallucination? 1. Be explicit. Prompts should be specific as possible. Ambiguity increases the probability of a hallucination. 2. Provide sufficient context. Providing sufficient context will help guide the model to a more accurate response. 3. Employ iterative questions. If the answer seems off, then follow up with an iterative question to confirm the previous response. 4. Rephrase the question. If the answer seems off, rephrase the prompt to see if the response answer is the same. 5. As for sources. By asking for sources, the AI will give you a cross-reference to check the output against. When working on this presentation, the AI hallucinated when asked for additional resources on AI hallucinations. Note. The supplied references do not list an author and the source of the reference. Neither citations are real. 6. Reduce prompt complexity. The more complex a prompt is, for example asking multiple questions, the higher the probability of a hallucination. And, finally, 7. Change the temperature. Some platforms allow users to change the temperature of the model. Lowering the temperature will reduce randomness of the model's output. Note, be careful when attempting to reduce the probability of a hallucination. The power of an AI is its ability to make a prediction. The more you try to reduce hallucinations, the more likely you are adding bias to your prompt. Thus, the more likely you will get a biased response. So, there you have it, yes AI does hallucinate and there are many reasons for the hallucinations. The key though is to recognize that hallucinations occur and to always check the results. I hope you found the video to be enjoyable and informative. Thanks for watching.